the world's most advanced cold wallet for the new generation of cryptocurrency lovers. So if you are interested in buying this decent wallet, you can find a link in the description down below where you will get a 20% discount. Thank you very much and let's dig in the video. What's up XRP family? Thank you guys for joining the video for today. So here you can see guys, let's begin with the chart work on XRP. So actually we had kind of a breakout, which was actually rejection from that overall subjective trend line. So what I mean with subjective is that because you can draw trend lines in many different ways, but it doesn't matter how you draw it. It's always a rejection, right? Well, that's bad news for the short term, but it doesn't really matter. Price can just go down and creep up again. But unless we break this consolidation area, so we have to break this place in order to really start the uptrend, which is which can be like a couple of days away. And because this also looks like an inverse head and shoulders if you look at it. So we can be very close on breaking this overall structure, guys, and finally begin the uptrend to the upside where we will see it will happen quickly it will not be days and days and days of waiting it will happen once this breaks i can tell you it will go very quickly because look what you're seeing here price is gonna mimic that here right it's gonna go quickly so that is actually what we have been waiting for it didn't happen yet but it may be days away before we actually start seeing some crazy price increase so here we have digital asset investor hi it's time to hear from johnny deaton who represents 60k plus xrp holders in sec first ripple hester pierce has, was left out of the hinman ethereum emails she'd be great too so let's take a look at this video it's very interesting guys jay let me ask you about something that it winds up in my twitter feed constantly i've, I've tried to look into it and done a little research on it there's this argument about um, an action that the SEC brought on your last day as the chair of the SEC. This was the one to go after Ripple Labs executives, the CEO, the general counsel and others, and kind of come after them for some sales that they had planned and whether they were up front. There has been all kinds of speculation because Brad Garlinghouse, the CEO, the general counsel have been very public and they're pushing back and fighting the SEC on this. And they've uh, done some mudslinging um, and, 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 and said that you and others at the SEC were compromised in this decision, um, that you had input that was coming in from people who are maybe Ethereum fans or others along the way. I, I get this question constantly. I just want to put it to you. What happened and, and what do you say to those accusations? Well, Becky, I'm, I'm not going to comment on any pending investigation or action in front of the SEC. I think I think you know that. We. And the other thing that the SEC won't give us is, did you know that 63 emails went out with that draft speech that gave Ether a free pass? Do you know who was the only commissioner to get a, a draft version mm -hmm. of it? Who's that? Jay Clayton. Did you know Crypto Mom herself, Hester Peirce, never saw it? How do you draft? Why, this? why would Clayton even be involved in that, that draft? Why, why would he even... He gave input. He's the only commissioner. Bill Hinman was deposed. Ripple was successful in getting him deposed. Of course, they redact everything yeah. to the public. And uh, I have it here if you want to. Can we show, show this? Or oh, yeah, yes, you can show it. So, like. Absolutely. So, I don't know if people can see this, but it's this pages is. pages of that. This is an entire page of every single word on the page redacted, and there's 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 pages of it. This is your this is your transparent Securities Exchange Commission. Holy moly. Very obvious guys what is going on. Pages of redaction, redacted emails that has not been going public because they know that if that goes public they will have a big big problem. So another evidence point that Ripple is just on the right way. Again guys, the the show is almost over. So we can see here, Ripple SEC case heads for conclusion after summary judgment filed. So I do not know, guys, if you have seen Jeremy Hogan's video, go look. It's very interesting. He goes into detail what is really happening now with that summary judgment. It's very interesting. Ripple argued that XRP profits came from market forces of supply and demand rather than any contract between Ripple and XRP token holders. Now, Jeremy Hogan 
actually this is what his uh video is about right that that the motion that was filed by by ripple had constant evidence even bringing up laws of 1933 that were actually made and and ripple actually showed that there is no talk about an investment contract right here you can see both parties have called on judge and Lisa Torres to make an immediate ruling as to whether Ripple's XRP sales violated U.S. securities laws. Ripple has argued that the SEC has run out of answers to prove XRP sales constituted as an investment contract, while the SEC has held strong on its belief that it does. Today's filings make it clear the SEC isn't interested in applying the law. They want to remake it all in impermissible effort to expand their jurisdiction far beyond the authority granted to them by Congress. Right? Because they, like, the SEC didn't even bring up Howie Tess or anything. They didn't do that. They just brought up everything Ripple has been saying so far. It's just, it's, it's mad, guys. It's really mad. Ripple and SC both agreed to expedite the lawsuit on Friday to get an answer on whether XRP is a security or not. From the updates of the case, it sounds like it's in the favor of Ripple. The US Securities Exchange Commission, Ripple Labs, each want a federal judge to rule either that the crypto company affiliated with the XRP cryptocurrency violated federal securities laws or otherwise dismissed the lawsuit without requiring a lengthy trial. The SEC and Ripple both filed motions for summary judgment in the Southern District of New York asking District Judge Annalisa Torres to make a ruling based on the arguments filed in accompanying documents. The documents were posted to a federal court database Friday. So it's going to be very interesting this week, guys. We're going to see what the response is of this summary judgment, where if you go and look into detail that Ripple has really laid out some good stuff in that summary judgment and that the sec is nowhere near them european central banks picks five partners for digital euro initiative worldline is only official ripple partner anyone have any more info so there is a, a bit more amazon is a ripple partner they use ripple technology uh you can you can see that on their website so and now Worldline also. So Ripple is behind a lot of stuff, but they don't really bring up Ripple as a partner yet. But believe me, it will happen. Here you can see, for example, here we can see Worldline. The research has been led by Workforce Blockchain, which made up of experts from Worldline and Athos, whose task, tasks include blockchain training, technology exploration, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Hyperledger, Fabric multi-chain of which worldline is a partner and recognized contributor ripple etc so that's clear guys and hyperledger is actually more quant so these are the technologies that they're looking at conclusion the court should grant summary judgment in favor of defendants my hot take after two years of litigation the sec is unable to identify any contract for investments that's what the stat statute requires and cannot satisfy a single prong of the Supreme Court's Howey test. Everything else is just noise. So the, the answer was already there, guys. Like if you have been following this channel from the beginning, the answers were already there. This was never a lawsuit to begin with. It's just to bring out more time. And I think that time has finally run out. A big shout out and thank you to these three amazing, dedicated and driven men. They have all stood with the XRP army and the entire crypto community in our fight for what's just and fair. Definitely shout out to these guys, guys. They really helped in this case and they always have a voice choosing the right side and the, the, the actually the truth, right? And not just because they are in favor of XRP, but because they actually believe and they know that these are lawyers who educate lawyers that know the rules. So they're not just joining XRP army for the sake of it. They really know their stuff, right? And they know what's going on in the SEC. The entire crypto market is only 13 years old and has made many millionaires and big increase in growth in these years. Imagine what will happen in the next 13 years of crypto. And that is just fact, guys. This is how early you are if you invest. Not, this is not financial advice, by the way. But if you invest in crypto, XRP, XLM, all these things, you are very very early it has yet to take off literally 
so early guys for the entities that purchased xrp directly from ripple there was no legal obligation that ripple needed to fulfill for the buyer after the sale now this is guys if you do not understand what is an investment contract this is the definition of it so when you buy xrp there has to be some legal obligation from ripple that's an investment contract but there was no legal obligation so there is no talk of an investment contract this is actually the definition and this was also in that paper of the summary judgment there was no sale of a securities investment contract this was the sale of an asset this was also in the paper if if there is no legal obligation required from ripple then you are talking about the sale of an asset so again proving that ripple is in the right way here and is winning this case thank you very much for watching the video see you in the next one cheers